Rob preseason's done and dusted Gloucester Friday night and uh, you know what's coming at you up there. Yeah, I mean, in, in a lot of ways, it's a really good fixture for us. Um, you know, I, I always think Gloucester's a fantastic place to play. It's a great atmosphere. The supporters, you know, they're, they're, they're very good natured in, in the right kind of way. And I think, I think it creates a fantastic atmosphere. And, and I want the players to go and enjoy that and then, and then get excited about the game. Uh, and the one thing we've talked about this week is actually, in a, in a strange kind of way, taking the pressure off ourselves a little bit. And the most important thing, and one of the most important qualities we've shown as a side, is that we really enjoy what we do. Now, that means, you know, to enjoy things, you have to set some pretty good standards and you have to work hard and you have to give games, you know, a lot of physical and emotional energy. But that's what we're going to dis up. That's what we're going to talk about after the game. I, I want to talk about is going up there and celebrating some good things and, and aiming to do good things right from the start. Not going to be a team that's scared of losing the game or scared of what people will say if we don't win because we were the champions last year. That, that's not what it's about for me. I want to get up there and throw some punches and get ourselves in the game. Um, and see what it's all about, you know. See what, see what playing Premiership when you're the, currently the, the top team in England is all about. You obviously uh, won the title last year, but the scary thing is now everyone's back on zero points. You talked about that a lot in pre-season, mm. didn't you? Uh, I, I, I talk about it with other coaches all the time. You know, when at the end of the day, when you have a good season, you, you look at the Premiership table, and pretty soon you've got quite a good amount of points, and you're looking at yourself, and you're kind of on the right side of the table, and things feel pretty, pretty good. Uh, and you can get used to looking at that and you can get loose, used to looking at yourself in and around the top six and the top four and then you know you can look at the table after three weeks and be at the bottom and I think that that in itself is, a, is, a, is an interesting challenge and as far as I'm concerned I'm, I'm just really excited to see how as a team we deal with the scenario we found ourselves in you know we've, we worked extremely hard to win the premiership if you want to win the premiership you also have to want to deal with the seasons that follow it and um, some of our players will thrive on that. Some of them will take a little while to get used to it, but I'm sure, you know, over the course of the season, we'll come through very strong again. You talk about the lessons you learned from being in the previous final. What will you learn from this one taken into into this season? Well, a couple of things. A, not to look too far ahead. Um, so we've dealt in pre-season. We've dealt with the only thing we can deal with, which is the day by day. So I'm very comfortable that the players have trained extremely hard. So I think physically we're in a very good place. Um, our battle will be now that can we mentally still talk about. Well, if you win one Premiership, the only aim should be for you to win it again. And, and that's going to be another interesting challenge for us. Last year, it took us a little while to come to terms with the fact that if you lose a Premiership final, you should only be talking about winning one. Well, if you win one, you've got to even more be comfortable talking about winning it. And, and as I said, that will be an interesting challenge for us. And teams are very fluid things. You know, they're, they're like animals. They grow and they change. Um, and it'll be interesting how we grow and change with the, with, the, with the situation we find ourselves in. Rob, we've seen in pre-season that sides are already there thinking you're a prize scout. We saw that last Friday in particular. Um, what have you said to the boys to, to get them ready for that kind of threat? I'm well, just about really being excited about the challenge. You know, it should be, it should be really exciting to be the, uh, the big boys that other teams are trying to knock over. You, know, that, you work extremely hard to be involved in teams like that. And I think you can, either, like I say, you can either thrive on that or you can feel under a little bit of pressure. But I think people also need to remember: last season we were runners-up in a Premiership final, so you know we finished second in the Premiership. It wasn't like we were going to teams who would have gone, "Oh, it's only Exeter." You know, I think that's been gone for a few years. So in, in a way, yes, it's imp it's important to talk about the fact that we're champions. But th will it mean other teams try harder against us than they did last year? To be honest with you, I think. I think that would be a very negative thing to say about opposition teams, that they're going to try a bit harder this year. I think they tried very hard last year and a lot of the times we were good enough. The important thing is that we've got to try hard. We've got to, we've got to do what we did last year. We've, our levels of performance have at least got to match where we were last year and improve to the levels other teams improve. You know, that's the challenge. The challenge isn't necessarily that we're champions. The challenge is being prepared to work as hard as we did last year. Friday night you said it didn't matter what the result was or the outcome, you wanted to see intensity and mm. performance. Did you see that? Did the foundations there for, for uh, what you need for the season? In parts, in parts. I, I was really pleased with parts and I was really, uh, not displeased, but a little disappointed with parts because I think for a large part of the game we were actually looked relatively comfortable and relatively in control, but we actually created some problems for ourselves. Uh, and that's not taking anything away from Cardiff, but I think we made a couple of decision-making errors that gifted them some field position and then that led to points uh, when probably we could have you know, pressurised the game even further after half time because I think I thought we'd laid some quite good foundations by half time but we didn't really capitalise on that uh, and in the end you know we came up a little bit short but it's like I say I say this all the time in Premiership Rugby if we'd have knocked over if Slady knocks that drop goal over and we win would we be really happy um, if it doesn't go over are we really really sad well the reality is the game was exactly the same part of one kick 
and you can't either be really happy or really sad depending on the result of one kick. So we're kind of a little disappointed we couldn't have played a bit better um, but at the same time we were very close to a decent Cardiff team. So you know, we're, we're emotionally pretty stable about it. The winning and the losing wasn't the most important thing. If we'd won by two points it wouldn't have made it a better performance than it was. Uh, the performance was what it was and we'll want to use that as as a starting point and a springboard for us going forward. And Gloucester Friday night, you, you know from past experience that what they bring, their type of game, what sort of things have you been looking at this week with them? Not well, obviously giving we, the game plan away. Yeah, obviously we, we've watched their last couple of games and you know, they played really well last week against the Scarlets and I suppose the, the thing that kind of captures the eye in their performance was how prepared they were to, to run from deep. You know, they're prepared to run from deep and make some extra passes and look for offloads. Uh, and try and you know, maintain some possession and play a, a play with some tempo and a, and a, and a bit of excitement. Um, that's a great way to kind of uh, develop you know, a, a bit of emotional buy-in from your home crowd, just to play in a really exciting, adventurous way. And that's going to be a challenge. Um, but as I say, I think that would be a great challenge for us. You know, we, we can play a bit of rugby as well. You know, uh, and I think it's got all the makings of being a really good opener to the Premiership. Mm-hmm.